This short video is going to go through shading spheres, <laughs> shading spheres, using our graphite pencils and drawing techniques. So the three drawing techniques that I'm going to show you are hatching, cross hatching, and blended. And the first three spheres are drawn using just the 3H pencil. And you can tell that even though they're used, um, the techniques of hatching, cross hatching, and blending are used, that they still feel very flat. They don't feel very realistic because the 3H pencil is so light. The next three spheres I'm going to do are the spheres using the 3B pencil, the hatching, cross hatching, and blended. Now the 3B pencil makes it look a little bit more 3D and realistic because I'm able to push my values darker, but it is harder to create those smooth transitions into the very lighter values with only the 3B pencil because it is so dark. Now you'll notice in this video I erase the edges of my spheres a couple times and clean them up because just like anything I want to have nice craftsmanship even though this is just even though this is just technique practice. Excuse that school bell right there. The last spheres I'm going to do are with the 3B pencil and the 3H pencil. So you can tell how using multiple pencils, using kind of the darker pencils for the darkest shadows of your objects and the lighter pencils for the lighter areas of your objects can really enhance the entire form that you're trying to create. And they look much more realistic, much more professional, much more technical, even just with using two pencils. So this kind of gives you an idea and shows you the difference between those pencils and using multiple pencils versus using just one pencil. I'm going to slow down the speed for this last one just a little bit so you can kind of see me switching back and forth a little more and you see my hand move in those um, very small circles. I want nice smooth blended technique. I want to create smooth transitions. You do not want to be able to see your tool marks in this blended technique. You want to keep them nice and smooth so small tiny circles, even pressure, not too hard to scar your paper so you can create these forms. In your sketchbook, I want you to also practice shading spheres using multiple graphite pencils and all three drawing techniques. I want you to do one row of spheres where you use just your lightest pencil. I want you to do a second row of spheres where you use just your darkest pencil. And I want you to use one, do run, one row of spheres where you use both your darkest and your lightest pencil. And I want you to see the difference between those spheres. You should have nine apologize for the school bell. You should have nine spheres on your page by the end of this exercise.